Okay, today we're going to do a quick unboxing. Of course, you know what the title is. Um, I just got it today and going to try it out and see. It is the new Passport Wireless SSD that just came out. Um, it's 500 gigs. Um, it's SSD and it's supposed to be a one touch card copy operation. Um, previously I've been using um, portable SSDs um, but I wanted to try this because I do a lot of sports photography and event photography and I just wanted to test this just to see how well it does. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing. They just came out today. Okay, let's open her up and see what we got here. Okay, we have some kind of instructions on how to use it here. It shows you a one one power it on two we have some paperwork here saying it can use on the an Android or or iOS give you the network passcode there so this is the card to get you set up here and here is the drive here um, of course, this is a little bigger than um, you would have think it would be, but I guess since it has the battery in it, um, I guess it has to be here. Comes with the cable here. It's a regular, that same proprietary cable that you use for all your hard drives. So any hard drive cable you have will be able to plug into it also comes with a let's see what this is this is actual the power cord the power block and it has one USB um, plug in there so I'm assuming there's a cable but I guess there isn't so how to just power up here so I guess it powers with this cable so you plug this cable in here and then it plugs in to there so here we are in comparison to what hard drives I've been using I've been using one of these SanDisk. It's, this is a five, uh, one gig SanDisk. Um, one, I mean, one terabyte SanDisk that I've been using. This is what I use for my video. And then I also have an older um, Samsung 500 gig, and I usually use this for my photography that I'm currently working on. So. Here is the difference in sizes between the drives there. So you see there's a big difference in size. So let's power it up and I'll be right back. Okay, I also brought my iPad so you can also see about the size it is towards the iPad and my my phone here so like I said it's got a pretty nice size to it um and I don't know why they give us these small cables here uh so you have to have a plug on top of your desk but we're gonna see what happens here we're plugging it in we can move these out of the way. And let's see what the instructions here says. 
power her on. Here's the power button. Looks like we have a power button. Place where the cable plugs in. Another looks like another USB and a I don't know that's the battery in there. It's a battery indicator so you can see what your battery indicator is. Um I guess that's USB. So it has on the top here it has dots here so it can see what your battery life is and if you hit the button there it shows your battery level so it looks like I got four blue dots in there so it looks like I'm all charged up so I might not even need to plug it in so let's power on when you power it on you see some lights blinking here that says wire, my passport wireless SSD you see like a little hard drive blue light is solid lit and then you see the Wi-Fi blinking there so it looks like what I do is I get my phone and connect to the Wi-Fi let's get the Wi-Fi going here I'm waiting for my Wi-Fi to show up and it says my wife my passport 2.4 gigahertz so I click on that and it has a passcode there this is 9242019 I join so that's incorrect password. So let's see what I did here. Nine two four two zero one nine two. Join. There we go. And it's joining to the Wi-Fi. And now I have a solid blue light that says that I'm joined. And looks like I'm supposed to download a My Cloud app. So let's see here. Go to the App Store. Let's see here. Oh, I did it backwards there, y'all. I suppose that downloaded the app first. So let's get off of this Wi-Fi and get on my regular Wi-Fi. Go back to my Wi-Fi. Go to the App Store. And it says my cloud. There it is, and I will download it. Now that didn't take long, so I open it, and I guess I gotta go through some agreement stuff. And it actually shows the My Cloud. I have actually one of these My Cloud things, so I don't know why I don't have the app already. It has the picture of the My Cloud wireless there. So I guess I need to go back to the Wi-Fi and connect to the My Passport. Since I've already put the password in, that should be easy. Okay, it connected. So now I'll go back to the My Cloud app. Oh, that ain't it. It says to add your wireless passport. Click on here. 
and it, it showed up. I said continue. Refreshing the list of the Wi-Fi. It's saying I need to join the network. I don't know why I want to join the network. But I'll go ahead and join the net, my network. Okay, I'm connecting to my Wi-Fi as well. It said, check that it's connected. And it's asking me to see the register, but I'll do that later. And it's asking me, do I want to back up files or update software? And... I want to just back up files from an SD card. It's giving me an option. It says, do you want to back up files and update software automatically? Do you want to automatically back up files upon plug-in, SD card, or a USB drive? And I will say, yes, I want to automatically back up my, USB, my SD card. I want, don't want to do my USB device, but I do want to automatically back up my SD card. So I put that and it says, do you want to do automatic updates? And of course I want to do that. And I press continue. It says auto backup folders and videos. And I want to say yes, okay. And then it shows your storage. And then I click on the storage and it has a bunch of different options product how-to videos, sample media, system volume information, which I don't care, has a user manual, some W apps for Mac, some apps for Windows, um, and the Passport Learning Center, and the Passport W Digital um, executable but since I have a Mac I don't want to do that so and then it has a thing that says auto backup storage press OK alright so so today I happen to have filmed a basketball game as I said earlier um, and I have the, the 128 300 gig cards the faster cars from Sandus here and I'm going to see how long it takes for this card to write into this new Western Digital um, passport here that I just got so start my timer here We're at 6.16. And I think approximately I have about 30 gigs of video and pictures on this card from my shoot, um, basketball shoot. So, so it's about 30 gigs of 128. So that'll give you some kind of, um, and to verify that we're going to open up the app, the MyCloud app. Would you like to rate the My Passport? And it actually has, um, which I didn't say earlier, once I installed and got it connected, it actually has two connections. It has a 2.4 gigahertz connection and a faster 5.0 gigahertz um, connection. So I'm gonna actually connect to the, to the five gigahertz connection it immediately showed the storage the device there and it shows all of the file folders that were already standard in here um, um, and as soon as you and it has an SD card import folder there so I'm assuming when you do the export it'll import right in there or you can name it so and right now I have 
If I go back here to storage, and you can actually click on these dots here and create new folders and add, uh, create a new folder, things like that, if you want. So what I'm going to do is, now that I'm connected, I am going to insert the card. Let's see, start my timer here. Okay, reset, and I'm gonna start my timer when I connect because I have it set up. So as soon as you insert the card, it's going to start importing. So here we go, insert the card, and immediately as soon as you insert the card, you see the lights blinking, showing the SD card being imported. So. I started out a little couple seconds late, so we'll go with that. So as I go in here into the app, while it's importing, you can click on here, my passport, see the storage. Let's go somewhere. And right there at the top, you'll see it says it's got the name of the sand disk. Is it focus in there? see the focus see the sand disk and it's got the name of the sand disk and it's showing the little blue bar at the bottom showing that it is copying over so I'm gonna stop the video and I'll come back to you once it's imported so let's go back to the stopwatch and right now and we'll be back and I'll let you know when it's done looks like we're about a halfway there and let's see what time we're at three minutes and 40 seconds and it looks like we're about halfway there so and we'll let it keep running Yeah, it looks like we're getting towards the end here and let's see when the blue bar is full and it stops I assume it is done boom it's done so let's look at the stopwatch looks like it took about eight minutes to record let's and let's so let's see how much data so now that we're in here so let's go to the storage and it looks like you can, now you can safely eject the car so let's hit eject and it says ejecting so I guess you can now take the card out so let's look on the storage and see where it put it so it looks like it put it in the SD import it shows the date 126 that it did it shows whatever these numbers here are T 18 21 14 I don't I guess that's some kind of sequence y'all let me know in the comments um, if you know what that sequence means um, also, make sure you subscribe and like um, so you can see more videos here. Run out of battery here, so let's ignore that. So let's go into the card itself. It actually still it names the card itself. And it, it looks like it put the exact format of how the Sony camera or how the format of your card is. So it has each individual folder there. So you can pretty much go into the folder and here so let's first look at the connection of the video so go here in root clip so let's play a video from what I recorded today let's see here 
see how fast it responds. And this so on it actually look like it's working. I see a little so it does have a little as you can see it does have a little lag there in the video. That's a 4K video, so let's go to another video. See if it also lags. So it is, you can say that it is lagging while it's playing the video. So that's not good. So that's not good at all. So let's stop it. And let's go back to the initial first video since it played a little bit and see if it still lags. Yeah, so even after it plays once, it still lags. So that's not good at all. So that's not that's not a good thing at all. So you so it doesn't appear that you can play 4K video um without a lag. So I don't like that at all. So let's go get out of there. Now let's go to the photos. And I shoot in raw. So let's see if I can actually see the raw video, raw footage from the computer. And yes, I can see the raw files. And they come up pretty fast. So that's a good thing. So I can actually swipe through the photos that I took today. Um, with my A9, so it looks like that that has no lag to it. So that's good. So that's a pretty good thing. So that's definitely not going to be good for reviewing videos, uh, 4K video. I'm, and these are short clip videos, so these are a lot like they're really big videos. They're only 30 second, 40 second videos. And you can see clearly that it's lagging. So let me play all the way through the video and see once the complete video. So it played through the whole video. So let's play it again. See if it lags. Yeah, so even if it plays the whole video, it still lags. And it's very choppy. So that's not a good thing. Um, but if you want to do it straight for, for photos, it seems like it does do the pictures really well. And these, like I said, these are raw, um, photos from the A9. So these are 24 bit files from the RAW. So you, as you can see, I can keep flipping through these files. So let's see if I can determine how many files and what's just how it did um, if I go to here I can see at the beginning I had 493 um, free space so now I have 468 so like I said it is roughly 30 gigs that was brought over and but yeah so that's the my data I'm not sure if I'll be keeping this or not I'll have to test it out for a couple more days because like I said it does appear very slow still I thought having the SSD would make it really fast um, I don't know how it compares to the hard drive version of it. The hard drive version of it um, is a, like half the price of, of of this drive. This drive was roughly three hundred something dollars, and I'll put that. Um, I'll let you know what that price is um, on the screen as soon as I look it up. Um, other than that. If you have any questions or comments about 
the drive please let me know uh, and like I said you can use this to power up your phone as you can see my phone is at 16 percent so let's plug my phone up and you see it powers up but it gives me you can trust this and I do want to trust my connection so as you can see it is powering my phone so we know that works so next now let's see if it will power up my A9. Always remember which one it is. That's the one. There we go. USB mode that's been into massive so I can actually I don't want it to be that I want it I guess I gotta change the menu I guess it was right I see a power thing here USB power turn USB power on and I turn her off you can you should see a little yellow light come on here to say I'm getting power yep there's a little yellow light so it is charging the camera so it can charge your camera so to make, to make it as a power supply I just plug it in here turn it on and if you it says USB mode but if you hit the play button it says down here playback but if you hit the playback it will ask you do you want to disconnect USB connection and switch to USB power and you say enter and now you it is it is providing power to your camera that is the my passport wireless SSD um, if you have any questions or want me to test anything, please put it in the comments below. Please like the video if you like it. If you don't like it, hey, do that as well. I'm not a professional YouTuber. i just trying to give y'all information on things that I purchase. Um, but I hope that you want to see more. So please like and subscribe. And I'll put a link in the description below or where you can buy this and the price of the USB drive um, and where you can purchase it and f many other things so make sure you also use my links to help support the channel so that I can do more reviews and things for you so thanks again for watching um, from Tag the Shooter Photography thanks